Hey guys, the farmer here again. Well, they were here all day working on this kid loader, and it's not fixed. What we have here, finally they decided the rear engine seal is leaking. And if you go back on my videos, I said this a long time ago. But I'm just a little small dumb farmer here. I don't know anything. So these guys got paid all day long. And, uh, you know, and they, and they billed me the last time it was in here and they were worked on it. And uh, now we're back to square one. A lot of oil down there. It's leaking oil again. So, you can see the oil up on the hose there. So, I guess the plan is they're going to come pick it up, bill me for it, bring me another skill, skill loader, bill me for it. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I, I, I was having a better day a little bit, I guess, than yesterday, but I got, I got manure to haul, cattle to feed, and you know, they got to quit at 5 o'clock. What time do farmers quit? Can anybody let me know? Because I, I forgot. I mean, I... Yeah. What time do farmers quit? Somebody has to know. But, anyway. So it's all oily all over the whole engine in here. But, yeah, I just want to make a little video here again. Sorry for the... But I just want to, I want all you New Holland guys that you know think New Holland's the greatest thing in the world, which I don't think there's too many of you out there. But just in case, um, yeah, and I would love to trade it off. It's not worth nothing. So you take a twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand dollar loss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you guys let me know how many of you guys would want to take a twenty-five thousand dollar loss, and then. Uh, if a couple of you come up and say you would, I guess maybe I will, but it's no joke to lose that kind of money. Especially when you're a first generation farmer. Work so hard. There's some more oil in the ground from it. So yeah, gonna continue to feed here and uh, see what happens tomorrow. And uh I'm just getting tired of being billed all the time after I paid this much for it. And New Holland, I bet I have to find a way to get a hold of you guys yet. I'm not done with you guys talking to you guys. So, somebody has to know somebody out there that works in New Holland. You can uh, help me get a hold of them. Because, I don't know if, I mean, I, I make these videos because I... I want you to know how I feel and what I'm going through and it's what it's part of this farming life is all about. I mean, this is, this doesn't get any more real than this. I mean, we, we wasted a whole day here. Everything's sitting. Uh, we had to use the tractor, the 8320, to take some bales out to keep them happy. So, and uh, put two bale belts on today and, uh, and still find the thing that just leaks oil all over. And this never was fixed. And this went to Messix. They told me the oil filter was loose or the seal blew out or whatever, you know. The dipstick blew out. Jake Ziegler, he would know a little bit about this, you know. That was the first sign when you, you see an oil dipstick blowed out. That means there's pressure in that motor, boys. So I said this long already. And, uh, but yeah, I didn't go to college. And, uh, They really know how to make a, a farmer feel uh, positive about his operation, that's for sure. And they know how to bill me. They know how to bill that. I mean, they did go to college. They know how to make bills out. And I hate to see the bill for this now. The guy made four or five trips today to Messick. So, yeah, I, I get to pay that, you know. So, come on, New Holland. Step up. Get one of your boys in here and talk to them. Get out your desk, get some exercise. Let's go.
get out in the field here, check these skid loaders out. I'm not the only one having a problem with the L230. So, I'm uh, just going to make this little video and try to keep it peaceful and, and I try to be nice. I, I really am trying to be nice here. You tell me anybody wants to spend that kind of money and have all those problems. This is why we buy a new skid loader to run under warranty to give us a peace of mind and this thing has given us a lot more than that. So, alright guys, leave your comments, see if you have any good ideas for me. And maybe you ought to start calling Mastix and let them know how you feel as farmers too. So, if we don't have dependable equipment, how can we farm? And they don't want to come out here with a shovel and shovel corn silage for me. So, they get paid too much. They don't want to do that kind of work anymore. Alright, have a great evening. Talk to you later.